Hello dear brothers and welcome to your new Bible study. And today we make a start of the letters of John. And I'm very pleased that we are going to study these letters because it's uh, the second writing of John in the Bible. He has a total of five writings. And John really writes about who and what God is. And uh, he presents the Lord Jesus as God the Son. So, um, yeah, let's study it together. And uh, I hope it will bring you a lot. So just let, let's just start with the, with the first verse. 1 John 1 verse 1. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked at and our hands have touched. This we proclaim concerning the word of life. John starts this letter by making a clear connection between Jesus and God the Father as the beginning of all things, using the term the word of life, who existed from the beginning, which we will understand from 1 John 1 verse 3 is a reference to Jesus. His words echo the ones opening the Gospel of John, verse 1 and 2 of chapter 1, where he wrote, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. John's words make clear that this Word of life, that is Jesus, was not only divine, but he was the same man he personally witnessed teaching and ministering, the same one who he saw before and after the resurrection, and the same person that he touched with his own hands. As the last surviving apostle, John spoke with an authority few could match, and although he lived almost to the end of the first century, he was not too old to fight vigorously against whatever might corrupt the faith that had inspired him for so many years. Brothers, even today the world's perspective and opinions influence and even poison our understanding of the Word and who God is, especially if we are not on guard. From the prosperity gospel to gender ideology to political correctness that deludes the truth to make it enjoyable. We must be very discerning of what scriptures do and do not say, and what it means for us to be holy, righteous, and do what is good. As we look at 1 John, or the first letter of John, over the next few weeks, let's hold up what we have learned over the course of our lives to the truth. This book is challenging and it will challenge. May we sharpen each other's understanding as we take a close look at the richly packed letter with illustrations and almost poetic rhythmic, rhythmic language. And brothers, if you need any further background information, I want to, uh, I, will, I will put the link in the description um, it's King Commons, I use that a lot, it gives perfect background information about the context of the letter and also per every verse it, um, it gives more into depth detail, so definitely uh, worth a try to check it out. And uh, yeah, see you the next time, God bless you.